what is architecture i think architecture is probably one of the oldest professions um of for creating habitat for human beings and a profession whose values and interpretations continue to evolve um as its means and ends do you know like uh, cities have become our new habitat and with the vast majority of people living near cities um, you know and and cities becoming multicultural um it's a profession that's now one that has to be open to a large multiplicity of values so an architect uh, a, a contemporary architect must be a part engineer a part artist um part poet part anthropologist and should be able to pose questions and present possible answers so an a practicing architect uh, in the modern world has to be not only intellectually relevant uh, i'm sorry not only intellectually uh, rigorous but also well relativist in a sense um as i say that i i i realize that we're a profession that often takes itself too seriously and i think that's why people who are not agreeable don't talk to one another what can architecture do well historically architecture was meant to emote and perform and that uh, fundamental remains but uh, we realized that one of architecture's objectives is to humanize buildings and contribute not only to an individual's well-being but also the collective well-being of society um it should uplift the human spirit um it can do so by promising or well by presenting the promise for a better future so architecture uh, at the end of the day architecture must form the backdrop for you know memories um and create contribute in some way to society's progress a uh, good architecture is not about one perfect building you, uh, you know as you see the cities are usually a juxtaposition of different eras and such uh, but so i think good architecture is about setting up dialogues using the tools at hand which are you know scale form rhythm material contrast conformity um and architecture has to often choose whether it wants to be you know compelling or futuristic or provocative uh you know sometimes it can be meek uh, and sometimes it can become a tool for activism uh, so as such though architecture should be multifaceted uh, in its approach as so, as should uh, cities and architecture that is sort of multifaceted in its approach seems to be more meaningful um, and definitely more meaningful than architecture which is homogenized which if it's homogenized can also often become oppressive and and to that extent architecture can sometimes also be a tool for uh, oppression what is your architectural position i think we believe in evolution and we believe that the return to traditionalism is a sloppy way of thinking um especially now that you know the large majority of mankind lives within cities um it's important for architecture to not only exist within uh, a building but it also has to exist and influence what is outside a building um and that's actually where the rest of the city exists so uh so so the architectural dialogue has to become a lot more progressive and uh, and engaging uh, having said that we're also living in a city in a, in a time where uh, where there are no more resources to consume and and we need to really rethink our our strategy our, our economic strategy and our strategies for consumption and therefore um, revisiting the past not 
rehashing the past, but sort of revisiting the past and finding uh, and and giving certain uh, certain physical constructs that exist uh, new meaning and uh, uh, regenerating them for for the next few decades um, is important, and maybe that's one way of architecture compensating for its uh, for its slow pace. What is your design method? Like I said, I think I think we take ourselves very seriously, and and we're a, uh, we're quite um, well, we're quite an intense studio. So we're often looking for reasons not to engage with the project, um, and you might you might say that is lazy, but it's really not. I think it's a way to find. Uh, uh, or it's a way to ensure ourselves that when we engage with the project, there will be some authenticity or uniqueness uh, in our engagement. Um, I think once engaged, we 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 do the usual, you know, sort of iterative drawing and model making exercises. Uh, more often than not, is to assimilate counterpoints so that you know you 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 have the genesis of a strong diagram that sort of. That and that diagram is in conversation within itself. Um, personally, I'm drawn to you know the you know the strategy of a project as well as tactile detailing because I find I find what happens in the middle kind of boring and I think that's also that also kind of defines how uh, architects how how different kind of architects need to exist because you need to have people who who can really hold the middle together. Um, and uh, yeah, but I, but I I do tend to compose in a stream of consciousness, and I, I find it hard to externalize design processes. Um, uh, you know, so so that so whatever it is that I'm trying to express actually comes out through a diagram more than more than anything else. Uh, I I do engage in a lot of cerebral processes uh, because I'm I'm not very good at drawing, uh, and I'm not an academic. Um, as a studio, our uh, material strategy and our detail, our idea of detail is, is sort of firmly rooted in uh, in the study of the British high tech. Um, while the materials we use uh, are sort of uh, are found are from what we find in our context in India, which is uh, which are more which are simpler and uh, or or sort of not very complex, but they are. They are, we, we tend to use them in a very sophisticated manner. We use a lot of relaxed details and you know sort of disassociated layers and such. Um, so it forms an architecture that's off the region, but it's um, and it has it has a regional narrative, but but the approach is actually fairly uh, it, well, it's a different architectonic approach. Um, the intent of creating an architecture that sort of reveals itself as you go along uh, and again sort of is a juxtaposition of various things and I often use the term polyrhythm because you know there are multiple layers that sort of tend to engage in themselves uh, with the overarching intent being that of creating an architecture that makes the user question what they're experiencing.